people getting excited for Star Wars opening up real soon, as well as celebrating the 30 year anniversary of Hollywood Studios. But specifically today, we are gonna visit the new and anticipated Toy Story Land. It opened almost a year ago today, taking the opportunity today to ride the ride, try the food, and to see what we think about Toy Story Land. How's that sound, Joe? Sounds awesome. Today is a rainy day, but we thought this would be actually one of the best times to come because usually when it's a rainy day here in Disney, there's not as much people. So we're hoping that the lines will stay pretty short. And what's nice about Hollywood Studios is that a lot of the rides take place inside. So without further ado, let's head on over to Toy Story Land. Come on, let's go. Woody's a lunchbox. So excited. Sounded pretty good. So that's where we're heading to next. All right, so this is our lunch right here. <laughs> so Joe got, what did you get, honey? I got the uh, barbecue brisket sandwich yeah. and the mac salad and a secret drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got um, the triple grilled cheese sandwich with basically tater tots. They had soup, I thought it was kind of hot for tomato soup yeah. today. Uh, and I got this drink here, Mystic Punch what this is called. We got a raspberry tart here. Ooh. And then the other one is hazelnut and candied bacon. So yeah, that's gonna be our little dessert from here. Everything was pretty well priced, like D Disney standards of it anyways. So basically everything was like $13 and under. Joe's was the most expensive. His was like $12.99, mine was like $8.99. But actually something to consider for next time here, their kids menu sandwiches are pretty big. You see how big those kids sandwich meals were? Yeah, it was like... Right. It was a, a half a sandwich. A little yeah. bit bigger than half my sandwich. Yeah, this was like a half sandwich, but it was like huge. It was like a huge turkey sandwich thing. It was really big. The only thing about this place is that, I mean, like most quick service places, there's not a lot of seating, uh, very limited seating. So we are standing at a table and uh, just gonna go ahead and eat his mac salad. It's not bad. There's a lot of like a, a sauce in there. If you look down. Sauce? It's like a dressing. Tater tots, tastes like tater tots. This is the Mystic Punch, which basically has two different flavors of Powerade. Okay. Pretty good. It's gonna give me the electrolytes I need. So that's good. It's grilled cheese. It's classic. All right, I add my mayo to my sandwich because I like it with barbecue, so. It tastes homemade, kind of. Like you're in the cafeteria again, that's cool. 
No, way better than a cafeteria. <laughs> I will say the meat's a little bit rubbery. It's a brisket, so. Yeah. That's good. Okay, some finished lunch. We're gonna go on in with our treats here. All right, let's go. It's really flaky and thick. Yeah. That's good, though. I wish I got like a thing of milk to go with this. Mm-hmm. Are these definitely gonna be like an iconic, not meal, but like snack? Here in Hollywood Studios? It's pretty good. Wanna try this one? Yeah. Which one do you like better? I like that one better, actually. I have like this one better, too. I don't know, they both taste really good. This one, you can taste maple. Even though you taste the hazelnut, you taste like, I think like the, the actual icing on it is maple. But I think I like the raspberry one better. Mmm, good. All right, so lunch was good. Still got our drinks handy. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. The last time I came here, we we went on all these rides, the swirling saucers. I'm not going on it again because, to be honest, let's just say it's good to ride on one time. Am I right? It's one of those really, really spinny classic rides. If that's your jam, then you're gonna love it. Me on the other hand, it makes me wanna. did all the rides at Toy Story Land. We had some snacks and we've just been enjoying the rest of our time here at Hollywood Studios. What do you think, Joe? I think it's too small. There's only like three rides and one restaurant and that's it. Two of the rides there are like a blast. But one of the rides, if you're not into spinny rides, eh, that'd be a good one to skip. It's like a um, teacup ride on steroids. I will say that the hope even though it is like kind of cramped in with Star Wars Land opening next door, I think the hope would be that maybe they would expand that or even like add some more Pixar rides. We need Pixar stuff over here in Disney World. We don't really have a lot of Pixar rides, attractions, or anything like that over here. We have meet and greets and that's about it on <laughs> Toy Story Land. It was okay, it was good. If you are a Toy Story lover though, definitely check it out for sure. Well, question for you, my friends. Do you love Toy Story? Are you wanting to check it out when you come to Hollywood Studios? Leave those comments down below, and we would love to read them. Like this video if it was your jam, as well as share it to some friends who love some Disney travel videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell for any notifications of videos that I post on this channel. All right, guys, well, that's all the time that we have for today. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the park here in Hollywood Studios, and until next time, we will see you when we're looking at you. All right. Bye guys!